Good morning. This is Barbara at uh, Visit FEMA and look, and uh, I've continued on my little secret garden at FEMA. Good morning, good morning. The morning is much cooler than usual. I went out and sat on the patio for a few minutes with my friend Barbara. <coughs> And today, my sister's going to pick me up, and we're going to Humble Crumb. And I'm going to pick up some rosemary flaxseed uh, bread. What I'm talking about. Well, I hadn't been back with you because I'm recovering from surgery. And uh, I'm a little short of breath, but I'm okay. I'm good. I'm good. And uh, so I've been working on this as I can. Now, what I have found, you know, when I left off, we had just done uh, just a part here, um, which is uh, petals and, uh, oh, I got it upside down. <laughs> no, I got it wrong side out. Or, no. <laughs> I think my, my flowers are upside down compared to my pet uh, caterpillars. They're supposed to be caterpillars, but I'm working on that, okay? I'm working on that. And I think the petals on the flowers here, um, I think I'm going to uh, stitch them down a little bit like that. So it's more, see, level. Because they have a tendency for me to want to flatten them down. I probably should have made them smaller. But now that they're embedded in the crochet. We started out here. No, I got it upside down. <laughs> Again, it's upside down. Okay. I started out here on the last video. I was right in here. And um, I think I added the caterpillars. Now, nothing down here. I hadn't done this part yet. Uh, so now i am added the white. And then I did a, like a shell out of this real pretty blue. I just continued and changed colors by, you know, I just left the streamers out the side because I'm going to make a real pretty go border to go around. It. And now this is my secret garden because it's my idea, it's my, what I want to do, and it's the yarn I have. And you, So don't think that you're limited to something like this, but it might help you create something that your mind says, oh, I could use that idea. And that's how I have created most of the things that I do. But don't give up on your stitches. Now, if you're new... Try the new stitches out. Find you a young lady on to YouTube or a young man and follow whichever instructions you can understand and follow along. With YouTube, it's great because you can pause, start, pause, start as you work through your work. And I encourage. I'm the encourager. <laughs> Do it, do it, do it. Try it, try it, try it. If you don't like something, I, I have made a row. You know, added a row. And it almost threw it. I said, nah, this ain't going to be, that's not what I want. That's not what I want. So I just pull it out until I get the row that I want there. And sometimes I just can't find it that evening or that day. So I roll up my work and I put it in my box and save it for another day. And then the next time, I might be cruising on YouTube and there's this lady showing me of the way she put one stitch next to another. You know, they don't know that they're giving me ideas. Maybe they do. Maybe that's what they, their niche. But I encourage you to try. You know, pull the thread out. It's only thread. If you have to throw a little thread away, so. But if you're like me, whatever's gifted to me is what I use different textures too as I went along and of course these right here the puff puffs what we talked about those those are um, um, two yarns together and I also use those to create the petals that I am gonna make a lay down I, I don't like the intrusiveness of them but uh, and then I added uh, let's say go the other way then I said okay I'm gonna go the other direction so I turned my work upside down and I did this yellow. I, now, I pulled this out several times trying to figure out what I wanted to do there. And I may, I may, and I probably will, use that light gray yarn like that. It's lightweight, easy to work with, 
and I will use it as I go along in different places as we uh, come from one pattern to another. Well, again, this is my garden blanket that I'm working, my, my secret garden blanket that I'm working on. Now, this is not a full size. If you're working on a full size, you will need more than 88 stitches. I start with 88 stitches because I'm going to add like a four inch border on here. And I'm going to also put a pocket. And you'll understand why I'm going to put a pocket on it. Because I'll just tell you right now. No. Uh, so, I don't know which way's up. <laughs> I probably, I don't know. Yeah, anyway, doesn't matter. And it's going to be a lap. See, just a lap. Not a big, not big. 88 stitches is what I started with. See, isn't that pretty? Oh, I kind of love it, my love. Anyway, I don't know how, but I'm going to make it long enough that it covers my legs when I'm in my wheelchair. It's going to be long enough that I can put it across my lap. If the weather changes and I go in my wheelchair and Carolyn picks me up or something. And so it's just going to be a little coverlet. Now I'm going to put a pocket in it. So I don't always have to carry a purse. I can just carry this in my wheelchair with a little pocket. That's it. But it's going to be, oh, probably three foot long, longer than it is now. Because I might accidentally want to do this, you know. I have to decide what I want to make color around my neck if I do that. But the one thing I like about doing this kind of stuff is sort of bohemian pattern. And you can make tulips and roses. Oh, did I tell you what I was doing? Enjoy your life. Remember. God has you in his hands and pray for Mother Earth. And go outside, play in the yard, take your shoes off, feel the grass. Ooh. And remember, play in your happy garden with flowers for flowers surrounding you and God's precious gifts.